Hello, this video will be about grain, oil and wine, a kind of, uh, continuation of previous uh, recent uploads. Uh, but also will in the future I'll get back to it in regards to the cornucopia or the horn of plenty and how this connects as well. But uh, grain, oil and wine, sometimes referred to as corn, oil and wine because of the Americas and we'll have a look at that shortly. But grain, oil and wine. Now, gr uh, grain makes bread, grapes make wine and olives make oil. These are free staple foods and and symbols of nourishment are uh, very important symbols as well. Now, for instance, you'll find them throughout the Bible from the Old Testament, especially uh, Deuteronomy 13. Deuteronomy 11:13, uh, uh, Book of Joel 2, grain, oil, and wine. Nehemiah, uh, both 5 and 10, and they're in is it 39? So 5, 11, and 10, 39. Grain, oil, and wine. Grain, oil, and wine. And the importance. Well, they're very in. Of a of a good harvest of well symbols of nourishment, but it's actually quite a bit more than that. It's also mentioned in the book of Numbers eighteen twelve. Uh, all the best of the oil, all the best of the wine, and of the grain, the first fruits of what they have given to the Lord. But the word uh, shibboleth in Hebrew, Old Hebrew, is or oh, was it Aramaic? Anyway, the, an ear of grain, but it also tr translates to a channel, also a flood, which is interesting in regards to the palmet and the old symbol arket, which was one of the three seasons in ancient Egypt, the season of inundation, and how important that was to the fertility of the land, and. Well, very important to the Temple of Solomon. So the wages of the labourers were paid in grain, oil and wine. And so this is the reasons why it's so important to the modern Freemasonic tradition because they draw a lot of their imagery and symbols from the Temple of Solomon and the Masons involved therein. But you can also find it, for instance, in the Greek uh, Orthodox funeral service. Oil and wine, or vinegar, as in this case, is poured over the grave and then Boiled wheat is added to this. Now, in the uh, most references will sort of say, oh, it's been lost in the mists of time, but well, we can see that there is very strong connection to this because, uh, especially Mediterranean people, wine and oil is just, you know, just part of the, of the, the not just the culture, but the civilization of that particular region, and well, grain being so important to bread. This is a nice image because we see the three vessels of oil, uh, well, grain, oil and wine. Now the cornucopia or the horn of plenty is usually associated with um, the oil of the olive. So we have olive branch here with the, with the olive where we get the oil. We have the grapes of the wine and the grain of the bread. So, But this is also sometimes referred to as Masonic wages box. So when... Uh, initiate goes through to the second or the third level. They'll receive this as a ceremonial gift to you know for their service to to the lodge and to masonry. Grain, oil, wine. You can see the compass and square. Uh, for instance, uh, lodgecraft free and accepted masons. So if you ever see this F and A, and that means so before you had. Uh, Masons had to be stone masons or in the craft. Free and accepted masons is of uh, ex well, ex anyone of any profession can join the lodge in that way. So if you ever see uh, a mason, but the F A F and free and accepted masons. Uh, another example of this grain or uh, wine and oil, as this is like a common gift between um, brothers, as they say. Here we see oil, corn, and wine, and this is an important distinction because the in the American tradition, uh, they well because corn was not available during the time of Solomon, so that's grain, oil, and wine. But amongst Americans, it's become corn, oil, and wine. Uh, so you use some vessels like used in the uh, ceremonies, again Masonic, and the cornucopia, the horn of plenty. 
uh, is usually associated with oil. Here, for instance, when there's a cornerstone ceremony, oil, grain and wine is used in this ceremony. And I'll put the links in the description here as well. So this, for instance, this is where I got the image there. But they also go into some cool detail in regards to the pre, before Solomon, the Hellenistic culture especially is where so much of this imagery was, uh, was drawn. So they talk about Demeter slash Ceres. Greco-Roman god of goddess of of wheat of of the harvest so wheat Dionysus and uh, well the the god of wine as they say and also connected to the um, Bacchical mystery so Bacchus Dionysus without going into the subtleties of but yeah Dionysus or Bacchus the god of uh, wine and we also see oil as an extract um, connected to the Greek goddess of knowledge or Athena Pallas. Uh, in other videos I've featured it, uh, for instance, a GPO building here in Sydney. Uh, the symbol of Athena had olive branches underneath her as well. It's also connected to the owl Bubo as well. But so, again, I'll put these links in the description so you can uh, read through them a little bit more. And before we get to the next one. So, okay, grain, oil and wine used in the uh, cornerstone ceremony. Again, we see this, I think this is from the Philippines. Strong uh, Masonic tradition there as well. Uh, the Paris High School somewhere in Illinois, the Masonic, they're laying the cornerstone. And a part of that ceremony included the pouring of corn, oil and wine on the cornerstone. So again, the Americans will tend to lean towards corn as the grain rather than wheat or barley or, or one of the more traditional ones. But in regards to cornerstone ceremonies, uh, for instance, uh, they're testing it with the plum and the level, on the level as they say, and also with the square, so that the, the cornerstone will be tested, which is an important part of these ceremonies. This is a Perry Monument in Ohio, the world's largest Doric column. And to understand it, you need to include, you need to look at it through Doric measures, but I've done that in another series. But just as a reference, okay, uh, recently I did one on Ghent, but strength, beauty, and wisdom. And so the Doric, the Ionic, and Corinthian column, the male, the, the woman, and the maiden. Also mentioned there how, uh, for instance, wisdom, strength, beauty, or you know, strength, wisdom, beauty, beauty, strength, wisdom. But this shows three male, because that's the the Grand Warden, the Junior Warden, and the Deputy Junior Warden. But again, Doric, uh, Ionic, Doric, and Corinthian columns. Uh, now, that's relevant because, um, so the Deputy Grand Master uh, uses the corn, the Senior Warden uh, uses the wine, and the Grand Junior Warden is in charge of the oil. And they get by just, so you see the three wardens there, but also which goes back to the Greek columns, once more Doric, Doric, Ionic, and Corinthian. Uh, here's some from the Long Pine Lodge. And they had their 125th charter anniversary. And so they laid some cornerstone, cornerstone laying ceremony. Again, with the, the tripod as well and the oh, block and tackle, this ancient anti-gravity device. And so they were cementing the stone. And I'll do another follow-up on cornerstones in more detail because of the different... It's a, it's not Masonic in this. It, it is much older, much wider, much broader than that and needs to be looked in it. They're, these, uh, they're just... Part, they're, they're the current version of an much older tradition but you can even see uh free and accepted masons as well so they're okay testing the stone as i showed earlier with the square the level and the plum so the square the level and the plum line and consecrating the stone with corn oil and wine so again this ceremony uh with the corn, oil, and wine. Now, which which will bring us to the U.S. Capitol building. 
and inside we have these columns which feature corn very uh, importantly and before we go there where is it okay so this is the mysterious corn cob capitals of prospect park in in queens i think or brooklyn new york and there you can see well it's corn but it's also wheat they're fused together and I'll, again i'll put this link in the description because it also shows uh well some other well links to this as well and how this basically hidden in plain sight i did a recent one on pediments and how often for instance the australian here in australia it, it is greek it is entirely greek zeus moses athena all the gods are on that pediment but if you read the official literature in regards to it will say oh the, the the bull represents the cattle industry this represents no 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 they this this no absolutely not it's it's much older and deeper than that hidden in plain sight but again this will be the link in the description the point of it being the u.s capitol building with these corn cob um uh, capitals on these interior columns so the cornerstone of the U.S. Capitol, as with so many others, um, the cornerstone was laid in a Masonic ceremony. Very, very strong connections there. Even you see a extract from of the time and some uh, paintings, illustrations of the uh, Masons in procession to the laying of the cornerstone. Corn, oil, and wine used in the ceremony itself. And it also mentions, well, amongst other people involved in the procession, stone cutters and mechanics. Now, Simpsons was Homer joined the stone cutters, and there are more than a few sites out there. You know, uh, it's like, oh, there's no such thing as stone cutters. Well, it's not really. Yes, there is. <laughs> yes, yes, there is. And the Association of Journeymen, the stone cutters of Philadelphia, for example. So, I don't know where some of these guys. Um, get their info from but uh, just like the the hand in the jacket there seems to be it's more of a uh, prejudice is not just about the fundamentalists it's also anti-fundamentalist uh, a, a, a very controlled by their agenda rather but anyway so stone cutters yes there were stone cutters that's no you know no 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 if you say there wasn't uh, it's yeah, and just you know, it's only really a few clicks away. Um, but also mentions the mechanics and the independent order of mechanics is this an, uh, another you know a very masonic you would say, but it's another mutual aid association again, typical uh, evil demonic like uh, blah blah blah. No 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 no. Just look into it. What is these societies and the importance of them in the de development of society? Uh, these symbols such as corn, oil and wine were, were basically universally known about up until the World War II period. Uh, that, that, they were part of our cultural heritage, uh, especially in part of the symbolic heritage. So again, only going back a century or two, literacy was much lower. People were, but people were much higher level of literacy in symbolism, especially since World War II and Hollywood and TV. We've been um, overtaken by uh, aliens, vampires, werewolves, robots, this sort of stuff. They have become the common stories which we share with one another and how we relate to one another. But only a couple of generations ago, these emblem symbols, these organizations were the, the cultural, uh, the thing that we had in common. And again, now, because we've sort of lost a little bit of it, it's easy for the David Icke, Alex Jones types just to come in there and just to flood it with, with uh, profiteering and bogusness. And they are, they're bogus. They're, they're, they're really, really shocking. Uh, cornerstone ceremony, even here's the newspaper uh, running short on time. Anyway, but grain, oil and wine or corn, oil and wine, it it's, goes back to, well, biblical times, the Temple of Solomon. But again, extends has very strong connections further back, for instance, into the Hellenistic period, and more than likely, much further than that, because the Greeks did not just invent all their stuff in a vacuum. They inherited a lot, they improved a lot, and they wrote a lot of stuff down and made it more accessible to the, the, the mystery schools were a little bit more open than the previous ones, for instance, in Egypt. But I would be, uh, well, you know, it's hard to research those things and uh, without getting in too much speculation, so I'll leave that to the side. Grain, oil and wine, corn, oil and wine, so important. 
well, in so many other ways anyway, uh, reaching the limit. Cheers and have a good one.